Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Devlog. This is the show where I take a look at in-progress, independent games through their development logs. Try to inform you about some games you may not have heard of, turn you on to games that are nearing release, or just otherwise show you things that I think are worthwhile. This time around on Devlog, we're going to be taking a look at, and also playing the demo of, Cloudface. According to the developers, Cloudface is a hand-animated 2D platformer with graphics and humor inspired by games like Earthworm Jim and Wario Land Shake It. You control a cheerful business cloud on a quest to save his important documents. You use weather-based power-ups and manipulate enemy abilities to solve puzzles. So that's a pretty good pitch there. Got everything you'd expect to hear in it, but then the moment that they name drop Earthworm Jim, my cockles go fully erect. They rise to the nth degree because that game is such a big part of my childhood, Earthworm Jim. Played so much of it on my Sega Genesis. Really loved Earthworm Jim, loved the humor, and absolutely loved the art of that game. So if you're aiming to do something that in any way emulates that, I am on board immediately. So you're going to see some of the art on your screen right now. Art, a really big part of this game. Obviously, an art is a big part of any game. But art is the way that this game actually came to be. Because the artist popped into the TIG Source forums, essentially showing off his art and saying that he wanted to make a game, but really wasn't all that skilled. Eventually, through some forum replies, he built his team for the game. He found his composer and his programmer within just a few replies to the thread. He put forth amazing looking work and he got amazing people on board. And that's the, the absolute great thing about the thread to go back and read it. You can actually see not just the birth of the game, but almost the conception, you know, the, the sweaty humping that occurred to birth the team that will make this game. And I really, really have high hopes for this game. The, the, the art is amazing. So far, the, uh, the game itself, the demo, which we will play a little bit later, seems extremely solid at this point. And the music, what they have so far is amazing. Their composer, amazing. Uh, 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 Colum Bowen, I, I hope Colum is how you pronounce your first name. I don't know for sure. Uh, I'm pronouncing it phonetically. But some of the stuff that he's done, Super Ubiland soundtrack especially, uh, just great work. Visit his SoundCloud, please, because his work is great. If you like the sort of uh, happy, chippy tune sort of stuff, oh, you're going to be in paradise as you listen to his music because he does it all so well, so well. And it's really, uh, the way that he got on board was just great. Uh, if you read through the thread, I don't want to rob you of it if you do want to actually go on the adventure of how this game was born. Uh, read through the thread, have a little bit of an adventure, and uh, obviously enjoy all of the things on your screen right now as well as all the other art that is presented in the forum thread. Something to always remember about this is I can't show you everything that I want to show you about a game in a short time frame. I don't want these videos to go super long. I want to encourage you to go and seek out the information about these games. So you're not seeing everything about this game that's worthwhile in this video. You want to go to the forum threads, you want to go to the NDDBs, you want to do all that stuff. See everything else that's available and follow the game yourself if you're really interested. Now we might as well move on and play the demo here because it is a great little demo. It's short, it's sweet, but it is very, very, very amazing. All right, let's load this demo up. Now, first of all, I want you to look with your eyes, and then I want you to listen with your ears. I got a happy smile, got a happy face. I got my suit and tie, I'm running in the I got a sunny day, I got a quiet night. I got a feeling everything will be Now I could probably make this silly cloud dance all day long to this great song, but we probably want to play the game, right? So exactly what are we doing? Well, it says right on the screen. We need to collect all 23 documents and don't die. So up in the upper left-hand corner, you can see our briefcase uh, showing our document count. We currently have zero. We have three health, 
And we also have, can I point out, some really cool trees in the background with these uh, pine tree mohawks and really cool sunglasses. And just a great lot of stuff going on in the background. Butterflies flying around in here in the foreground, ambience. Just art style. What, what can I say about it? I mean, like I said before, it's the thing that got this game made. So you know it's going to be top notch. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We'll talk a little bit about the gameplay. We'll talk about that thing over there rolling back and forth in and out of our screen. And we'll see how we uh, feel about this game by the time we're in, uh, done with the end of the demo. Let's collect our first document. And here's a cat that is a little roly-poly guy. Look at him. So cute. Is he a fox? I can't really tell. He's got sort of a foxy tail. But uh, he's cute. But apparently uh, aggressive towards uh, cloud businessmen. So upon sight, he will attempt to roll towards you and then sacrifice his life. Uh, so apparently, whatever that is, cat, fox, etc. Oh, listen to that horn in the background. Oh, I love that. So whatever he is, a cat or a fox or whatever, uh, hates the cloud businessman. So yeah, let's avoid those uh, little kitty cats as much as we can. So let me talk a little bit about controls. I love the jump. I just love it. The jump is so important. I've talked about this in lots of my other videos uh, over the years, but jump, just so important in uh, a game like this or any game that's going to have you platforming. It's got the variable jump, which I love. Uh, what I mean by that is if you tap the button, you get one jump. If you hold the button, you get another. And uh, in this case, actually, if you hold the button even more, you get a little hover with a nice little uh, meter there to tell you exactly how long you're going to hover. A uh, little bit of air control like that. Always like a little bit of air control in my platformer. Uh, really, it's like they made this game just for me because it's hitting on all the all the, the things that I really like. He's, he's got that sort of floatiness. He's got that floatiness that reminds me of uh, Luigi in Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, you know, who had that like leg kicking floatiness in the air that the other characters didn't have. I really, really like that kind of gameplay, that sort of like it, it almost skating on ice. Uh, gameplay he doesn't stop on a dime. I love that sort of momentum. I really, really love it. Uh, you may not, but hey, I love it. And kind of all I care about is the stuff that I love, right? Exactly. So uh, again, the jump, extremely solid. Everything else about it, I mean, the animation, I can't even talk about it. I mean, look at it. It's just great. I know they're going to add some idle animations and things like that when you just kind of stand there. Uh, some stuff that I think I probably showed you a little bit earlier uh, when I was showing off some of the, uh, the art for this game. Uh, but this game is just going to be, uh, it, it's just going to be one to watch. I mean, this is an extremely early uh, pre-alpha demo, but so much is already here. So much is already uh, polished. I mean, this this looks polished. I would pay money for this right now. I mean, obviously I'd want about 50 more levels, but, you know, I'd pay money for this as it stands. Whoa, I almost got exploded. All right, so we're making our way to the top of this tree. Uh, whoa, that, wow, that is an aggressive cat. All right. The amazing song continuing in the background. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so first bit of challenging platforming here. Okay, managed to avoid getting hit by that. That's good. We are nearing, I believe, the top. We have lost our indicator uh, in the upper left-hand corner. Pre-alpha, what do you expect? You know, a UI element disappearing. Not a big deal. It might be hidden behind a piece of the background, or it could have just uh, decoupled or disengaged or disappeared. Uh, not a big deal. I only point it out because I notice it. I don't point it out as a negative. There, it's come back. So as soon as we collected a document, it came back, and now we are to the end. That's it. We collected all 23 documents, and we win. I think this is really enough to show you about this game. I mean, if you're not already smiling as I am... Oh, breaking it down again in the background. I just want to listen to this track all day. It's background music. Uh, if you're not already convinced that this game is at least worth watching... Uh, in development, then I mean, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do or say that's going to convince you otherwise. I think this game has extremely high potential, and uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to see. Can I drop back down to the beginning here? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I can certainly uh, navigate back down to the beginning. Oh, more cats. I want to see what these cats do when they explode on you. Well, I, I don't have my... I've won, so I don't have my, my uh, hearts anymore to see how it goes, but... I imagine they take a heart away, if I were to guess. Right, so as I was trying to say before I was distracted by pretty exploding cats, this is Cloudface. You can follow its progress on the TIG Source forums or on their IndieDB page. Also, there's a playable demo. All relevant links are in the description below. Next time on DevLogged, we're going to be taking a look at another game with a playable demo. This time it's going to be The Dungeoning.
This is a 2D platformer with some roguelike elements, leveling up, XP, varied weapons, some cool stuff in there. But the coolest thing is the lighting effects. That's definitely what caught me when I first saw screenshots of this game uh, a few months ago. So we're going to be taking a look at that playable demo next week. Please join us then. As always, if you are a developer or know of a game that deserves to be on Devlogged, please go to BigDavisCheap.com and contact me there through any of my various means of communication. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.